Hey, what's up, chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the $1,299 Ingway Engine Pro 2.0. Now, they market this as the Outdoor Adventure Electric Folding Bike. And, well, if you happen to notice, that's exactly where I'm at. So we're gonna see, is this bike up to the task of being perhaps your new camping e-bike? Well, stay tuned and find out, guys. Come on, let's get right into it. Well, here we have it, guys. This is the Ingway Engine Pro 2.0. Now this is an electric folding bike offering from the nice folks over at Ingway. This bike comes in three different color options. It has a black, green as seen here, and a blue. Maybe biased, but I happen to really like the way this green looks here. Let's go over some of the specs and features of this e-bike. So you can see here, this has a 160 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. This is a nice upgrade because other Ingway bikes I've tested in the past have had mechanical disc brakes. So this one has hydraulic disc brakes and they feel pretty nice. This is a full suspension e-bike. As you can see here, it has an HLT100 rear shock. I've tested this one in the past, and I have to say, I'm not a big fan of this shock, but more on that when we go for a ride. This bike has a 750 nominal watts on the rear hub motor, 1200 watt peak. We're here on the other side, we have a Shimano Altus eight-speed drivetrain. What sets this bike apart from a lot of other bikes in the segment of this market, is this bike is equipped with a torque sensor. So a torque sensor will give you power based on how hard you're pushing the pedals. A cadence sensor bike will just give you power based on whether the crank is turning at all. A torque sensor gives you a smoother ride and a more seamless feeling. It feels more similar to riding a traditional bike. The front suspension fork here has a couple basic adjustments. You can open the compression to the left or you can lock it out, meaning it's gonna make this front a stiff fork. And you have your pre bullet adjustment here on the left. 20 by four inch mag wheels, knobby fat tires. These are Chow Yang branded tires. Comes with a nice sturdy rear rack. And so far, I'm really liking the seat on this bike. It's nice and squishy. It has a gap here in the middle for a little relief. This folding bike has a 52 volt, 16 amp hour battery, which works out to be at 832 watt hours of capacity. Now overall, as far as e-bikes are concerned, that may be a little on the smaller side of what you're used to seeing. However, with this being a torque sensor bike, torque sensors are much more efficient when pedaling. So they rate this bike as having a range of 30 miles on throttle only with up to 68 using pedal assist. I'm skeptical of the 68 mile claim, but being that this is a torque sensor bike, I would expect to get pretty decent range. Up here to the front of the bike, you have your pretty standard rubberized grips. These have a nice palm support on each side. These feel pretty nice. These are locking grips as well. This bike is equipped with a thumb throttle, hydraulic disc brake handles, and these have a nice firm pedal feel and your Shimano eight speed trigger shifter here on the right. So to turn on this bike, first thing you have to do is there's a key on the bottom here. I'm not a big fan of this. You have to have the key in the right position before this bike will turn on. Meaning you have to have the key in this bike when you take it for a ride. And then you press the power button, press that button for a second or so, and it turns on your nice color display here. Now this has a pretty nice, this is the first time I've seen this color display specifically. This, and in my opinion, this is a very nice looking display. Let's go over your basic controls here. You have your up and down aerials here to toggle through your different pedal assist modes. Your thumb throttle on the left. Bottom button here is your headlight display, which toggles the headlights on and off. Top button toggles through the different information settings on the display such as tripometer, odometer, max speed, or average speed. Here, your display has all your basic information, has your mile per hour, battery gauge, and you'll be happy to know this bike also has a horn. If you honk on the bottom of here, click on the bottom button here, 
This bike has a unique sounding horn, and as of now, this is the first e-bike I've seen that has a horn that sounds anything like this. This bike is also equipped with a rear tail light, which will toggle on and off anytime you use the brakes, or it's always on when you have the headlight on, just for that extra little bit of safety. Let's demonstrate how you fold this Ingway Engine Pro 2.0 and just exactly how easy it is. So first off, this has a latch on the side since we open the latch and then you can fold the bike in the middle. Now this, this step honestly can be a bit awkward just to the nature of folding your bike up. Once you have this folded, you can undo the latch that holds the handlebars, fold the handlebars down as well, and you got yourself a cute little folding bike package. Look at that. What do you say? Let's take it to the store. Come on. Easy as that. Okay, now we want to unfold it. Apart. Latch the handlebars. And we're ready to ride. Now that we've gone over all the boring specs and features, what do you say we go to the fun part and see if this really is a good outdoor adventure folding bike? Come on guys, let's get going. All right guys, we are out on the Ingwe Engine Pro 2.0. First thing I'm noticing riding this bike right away is this is a torque sensor bike. So that means the more you press the pedals, the harder you press the pedals, the more power it's gonna give you in return. The cadence sensor bike, you can kind of just lazily make the cranks turn. And as soon as the cranks are turning, it'll give you power. With this, you have to give it a little effort. So right away, this is a more natural feeling case sensor, but you're gonna get yourself some more exercise. So to me, this is a bonus. I enjoy that. I enjoy getting exercise while I work on a bike, but if you kind of just wanna be lazy, you always have the option of just using the throttle. Another benefit of the torque sensor is the fact that they are much more efficient than a cadence sensor. As with the cadence sensor, will just give you a set amount of power as soon as it notices, as soon as it detects that the crank arms are turning, where with the torque sensor, it's gonna give you power depending on how much you're pressing. So the power is gonna fluctuate greatly and it's not gonna just throw all the power in there. So in theory, you should get much better range on a torque sensor bike than you would with the equivalent cadence sensor bike. This is a class three e-bike, meaning it does 20 miles an hour on throttle and a max speed of 28 on pedal assist. Let's test that now. Easy 28 miles an hour. I can feel the power cut off as soon as I hit 28. This is a nice smooth little bike. The 20 by four inch fat tires offer you a nice ride. Feels maneuverable. Since this is a folding bike, it doesn't have as long of a wheelbase, so you are in a more upright, high riding position. Ingwe claims this will claim, fit a rider between 5'4 and 6'4, I believe. Uh, for reference, I did see a rider 5'1 riding this bike since I've been camping, and they had no problem with it, with the seat in the lowest position. Now, I'm really liking these are 160 millimeter rotors, but these brakes have a nice grab to them. These brakes feel very powerful. Nice. These brakes feel nice. So it's been nice. I've been camping for a few days now, and this has been the camp bike. It's great for going to the bathroom, to the camp store. Anytime you don't want to walk, if it's just too far of a distance, you can just hop right on the bike and zip on over. And everyone in the camping trip has been using this bike, including some first time e-bike users. And everyone's been really enjoying the Ingwe Engine Pro 2.0. It's been a hit all around. These are great. I feel like a lot of people looking for e-bikes or especially folding e-bikes would be using them in scenarios like this as they take up a lower footprint. You can throw it in the back of your RV or in the back of your truck or even in the trunk of your car and then head to the camping spot. This display is nice and bright. I'm able to see all the information I need. Let's go ahead and test out the brakes on the Ingwe in Engine Pro 2.0. Yeah, these brakes are really strong. They have no problem locking up the tires. I'm actually really impressed with these brakes. A lot of these uh, e-bikes I test have mechanical brakes. They don't have a good feel in the handle. It's completely opposite on this bike. These feel nice. They have a nice bite to them. I have a lot of faith in these brakes. So good job, Ingwe. So I'm six foot two and I have the seat up a fair amount of distance. And this is what it looks like getting on and off the Ingwe Engine Pro 2.0. So there you go, this is what the six foot two rider looks like. And for reference, 
This is the seat in the lowest position here, which is uh, how a five foot one rider was able to ride this bike without any issues. So guys, if you've been camping at a spot or there's an area you like to explore, it's great to bring along a bike like this because this enables you to really just get out and fur much further than you would with traditional just walking or hiking. So yeah, this has been cool. I've been coming to this spot a long time and this is the first time I brought a bike and we've been me and my friend have been riding around every single day and we've covered quite a bit of distance 830 watt hour battery but combine that with the torque sensor i have no problem believing you can get 30 miles on this bike which is a pretty adequate range we've done multiple rides now that have been around 15 miles but with a ton of elevation change and we've had no issues with battery life whatsoever as a matter of fact i haven't gotten the ingway engine pro 2.0 down below four bars out of five as of now now this is a 1200 watt peak e-bike so when you're using the pedal assist mode you're not going to feel the power as much as you would with a cadence sensor bike because it doesn't just dump the power right in there like i've mentioned however the throttle on this bike which will take you up to 20 miles an hour feels pretty powerful this is 1200 watts it's rated at 75 newton meters of torque and you feel it this is a fairly powerful bike it gives a little bit nice little bit of zip to it this is a full suspension bike uh, it has a hlt 100 rear shock like i've mentioned before not a big fan of these shocks but mainly because they are extremely stiff but uh i don't know if it's with the suspension geometry on this bike or perhaps this, there's a revalving on the shock this one feels more plush than it did on the other bike i rode this same shock on the front shock not bad not a whole lot of travel but i feel like this is going to get you over most fire road obstacles you're not going to want to do any downhill trails or any jumps crazy jumps with a bike like this but this has a nice soft ride with the uh for a dual suspension folding bike this is one of the first e-bikes i've ridden out of the box that i feel has an actually nice comfortable seat i like the saddle on this bike guys i gotta go in the camp store to get something but before i went in i wanted to show you something here this is pretty scary baby rattlers in here you get it baby rattlers <laughs> All right, we survived our encounter with the baby rattlers. Now we're back on the road, guys, and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do a little bit of off-road on the uh, Engine Pro 2.0. I wanted to test you through the, passing, the pedal assist settings on this bike because, you know, since this is a torque sensor, it gives you power as you push the pedals. The pedal assist modes on this bike are not as noticeable as other bikes. So it's like you just, uh, every with each pedal assist level, it's like, your legs are just stronger i don't know it's kind of hard to kind of hard to explain the sensation but it's like all of a sudden you're just go you're you feel stronger with each pedal assist level you go up so i'm in five right now and yeah you start pedaling this thing just gets after it pretty quick the torque sensor versus cadence sensor debate is one of those ones you're gonna have to try it yourself personally i enjoy having the torque sensor on this bike because I like getting exercise and this is a smooth implementation of a torque sensor. This, it feels nice. There's no jerkiness, there's nothing. So this is a smooth system on this bike. I think a normal person can get on this bike, pedal away and not even notice. This bike has a little bit different components from a lot of bikes and this, you know, a lot of e-bikes, they're all seven speed Shimano's. This is an eight speed Shimano and it's got a trigger shifter here rather than that typical ugly shifter that almost every bike has. So I do appreciate the eight speed and the trigger shifter. All right, guys, we've been on the road long enough. Now it's time to go off road for a bit because after all, this is an outdoor adventure e-bike, right? So we're going to be doing a bit of climbing here. Let's see how the uh, Ingway Engine Pro 2.0 is up for the challenge. Now this is another one right away where it's, this is the torque sensor. So I'm having to put some input in with my, with my legs, but it's doing it no problem. We're in pedal assist three now. Let's see how this does in five. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Now this is nothing crazy steep, but this is a nice prolonged steep climb. And at the end of it, it's a pretty scenic little lookout spot, but we'll get there when we get there. Let's see if, let's see if this will go up this hill throttle only. Oh yeah. 1200 watt peak, 75 newton meters of torque on a bike this small feels pretty peppy. 
So I'm going 15, 14 and a half miles an hour up this hill, throttle only. This thing's got a decent amount of juice. This thing's got the juice. Just climbing away here, guys. Check it out, guys. We've now climbed a really big hill. So this thing is very capable. So check it out, guys. We just took the Ingway Engine Pro 2.0 from way down there on that road, all the way up this hill, up the side of this mountain. And this is just one of the few trips this bike has made up here this trip. This is now the third time. We also went all the way to the other side. So this Ingway Engine Pro 2.0 is quite capable, guys. It's a good climber. It's gonna be able to get you pretty much anywhere you're gonna to wanna to go. For a nice campground bike, this bike's gonna enable you to do pretty much anything you're gonna to wanna to do. But I have one test left in mind for this bike. Since this is a dual suspension bike, let's see how it does on the stair set of Doom. What do you say, guys? Let's give it a try. All right, guys. Let's see how it does on the steps. So you guys have it, it's the Ingway Engine Pro 2.0 electric outdoor adventure folding bike. Would I recommend this bike? Absolutely, I think this bike is a perfect companion. If you wanna take this on your camping trips or put it in your RV, or if you like to want to take a day trip, you can just put this in your car. And when you get to your location, you pull the bike out, unfold it and get going. It's as easy as that. Some things I really like about this bike, I do like the, the folding on this bike. It gets it down to a nice, tight little package that you can just throw in the trunk of your car or in the back seat of your vehicle. It's really easy to move this bike around. It's 70 pounds, so it makes it pretty easy to handle as well. The hydraulic disc brakes on this bike were a big standout feature to me. Although they're only 160 millimeter rotors, this bike feels like the brakes are very powerful. Some things I'm not too fond of with this bike, uh, I wish there was a latching system. It would keep itself in the folded state. Although it kind of just floats around, so it can be a bit awkward when you have it folded to move it around. Other than that, for what this bike is, I think they find, they nailed it. This bike is a nice, fun, little electric folding bike that you can take with you and get out and explore. So all around, I feel like they did a really good job with this bike. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. So if you guys are interested in purchasing an Ingway Engine Pro, you can use the link in the description of this video. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.